everything from business and wellness to creativity. So head over to um, the Hive Hong Kong Facebook page to be part of the buzz. Here's a sneak peek of the Hive. Have a look before our event begins. My name is Eva and I'm one of the community leads at The Hive. It's really interesting to see how The Hive is more than just a co-working space. We see that the members who depend on us to come up with events, ideas and partnerships. Hi, my name is Tanya. I'm the international manager of The Hive. Being in The Hive allows our members to network and collaborate. We have a range of regular events that are designed to engage and connect the community and bring like-minded people together. We provide a positive working environment and tailored memberships for our members. Help their company to grow not only in Hong Kong, but internationally as well. It is always exciting to hear members making progress in their new businesses. Uh, my name is Joseph Cheney, and I'm a co-founder of New Nera. Without further ado, I'm going to pass you off to Oga. Um, Oga, if you would like to unmute and join with me. Okay. Hello, can you hear me all right? Okay, let me... Okay, I'll just assume that um, you can hear me all right and um, we can start with um, the beauty day. So um, today I would like to share with you a few ideas on um, how to 
Oops, what is what's happening here? Looks like my slideshow is not moving. Okay. So um, I'm uh, um, going to start anyway. So the idea behind this whole presentation is to um, understand that the beauty is already there and um, our job is just to stop sabotaging it and maybe support a little bit. It's not uh, much different from anything else we do for our vitality, for our health and happiness. And uh, that's why uh, I will start with uh, some universal principles that I discovered um, that are true for anything to do with uh, our life um, and health and beauty, including. So to really start our journey together, I invite you to uh, take three deep breaths so that you arrive into here and now and uh, set intentions for um, our time together. So just leave uh, everything else behind and um, um, get ready to satisfy your curiosity. A few words about myself. Um, I'm originally from Russia. This is where my journey started, thanks to my mom, who is a, a medical doctor. But um, together with her, we uh, founded a health school where we were helping people not to get to medical doctors, pretty much. And I've been traveling uh, for many years, lived in um, US and in Europe and now in Asia. And uh, everywhere I go, I collect um, traditional wisdom and um, I'm always curious to learn about new research. So that's um, what I'm going to talk about now, a little bit of uh, both research and uh, traditional wisdom. We're not going to talk about anything medical, it's education only, but you know, since uh, we will be using words health um, I would like to just remind that uh, that's not a medical talk at all. So what are we going to do today? Um, we are going to talk about food and um, lifestyle habits and um, also some ideas on how we can um, create the beauty swaps, you know, because most of us are used to certain um, ways to take care of our beauty and um, uh, I'm sure that uh, most of the things I will be talking about uh, are not going to be very, very... Uh, it's nice to have reminders and be more mindful in our daily choices. So uh, this talk is more uh, about that, you know, how to bring uh, better awareness and uh, maybe, you know, you will get some new information as well. And um, also, uh, all these slides will be available for anybody who is uh, interested, you know, plus uh, some um, more resources if you would like to can uh, email me later. Okay, so now I would like to start with uh, the foundation. Um, the um, beauty pillars are not very different from vitality pillars in general. And um, usually, um, we even either have too much of something that becomes toxic and then uh, we need to let it go, detoxify it out of our systems and uh, see if we can minimize the uh, inflow of that stuff. Then um, another side of the coin is um, when we don't have enough of something. It's what I call deficiency. So it can be anything in the... Uh, body, mind, and spirit realms. So it can be deficiency in nutrients, it can be deficiency in self-love, it can be deficiency in knowledge. So whatever is uh, lacking, it's nice to uh, bring uh, more to your life and nourish yourself. So um, that is going to be true for um, detox as well. And um, the third uh, uh, pillar is um, when we have a lack of movement, 
uh, again, it can be movement in our guts when we have constipation, or can be um, when our mentality is stagnant and we believe in something that uh, is not serving us anymore, some old programs, for example, or it can be just stuck emotion, something that you just didn't um, let to flow freely out. So um, any areas of stagnation um, can be addressed by moving, either by breathing, moving your body, you know, um, allowing the flow of uh, any kind of energy, right? So it can be, you know, fluids inside of us like lymph and blood uh, can be uh, anything. So that, that the kind of universal principles and uh, we're going to apply them today in beauty. Uh, okay, so to um, make it uh, simpler, um, instead of going for detox and uh, nourishment and stagnation um, for the problems that is toxicity deficiency and, and stagnation. Um, I created uh, also the same principles just expressed easier. So if you have something you don't want, you know, let it out. Uh, if you lack something good, bring it in and move. Okay, so um, Today, it's uh, all about uh, our beauty that is um, already there. And um, I hope that um, um, we can um, all our seeds of self-love and self-respect and uh, self-understanding increase our uh, self-confidence to really um, use only um, certain things that uh, highlight our beauty instead of paying attention to what is wrong with us and uh, trying to conceal it, trying to hide it, trying to mask it. Um, pretty much, you know, you can wear the same makeup, you can wear the same clothes, you can, you know, wear the same perfume, but with a different energy. And uh, um, a lot of times you can save money um, when you have this energy of um, beautiful goddess uh, because um, most of their <laughs> spontaneous uh, uh, buys that uh, you know we're brainwashed with with uh, all sorts of marketing uh, schemes is that we're not beautiful we need uh, you know um, that or this product to um, finally compensate for all our flaws so you know, um, I really hope that um, we can buy maybe the same products, but out of different energy, that um, you're doing it with awareness and, um, you know, out of uh, self-love. So um, uh, beauty, of course, has uh, a lot, a lot of components and um, some of them are physical, some are psychological, some are probably even spiritual. And um, today I will try to talk about um, a little bit of everything. So this uh, beauty uh, life hacks that I, you know, suggest we use um, address a little bit of, uh, you know, different areas in our life. So um, when you uh, shop for products, first of all, ask yourself if you really need uh, um, all of them, or uh, maybe, you know, you're buying it out of uh, fear of not being enough, right? And uh, if you decide, okay, I really need this kind of product, then the next step would be to um, read the, um, the ingredients. Of course, not all uh, difficult to pronounce ingredients are toxic, you know, sometimes they're just Latin names of uh, some botanicals. But uh, most of the time, if uh, you cannot eat something, you know, I wouldn't put it on the skin because um, our skin eats uh, as well. So just uh, try to uh, stay as uh, mindful as possible shopping for your beauty. And um, uh, also we, a lot of times bring um, products into our house that um, can be detracting from um, um, 
our health and uh, you know health manifest as beauty. So just um, scan your environment um, to see if uh, um, the candles that you're burning are you know made with um, uh, petroleum and uh, you know synthetic uh, fragrances. You know uh, inside the the house I, I wouldn't um, use any synthetic um, uh, perfumes at all because um, you know they can <laughs> destroy not just the beauty but health in general. So just um, look around yourself, uh, look at the cleaning products and the laundry detergents and pretty much um, all the things that we are so used to that we just consider them um, normal just because they are so common. And um, um, see what you can discover and uh, uh, maybe minimize the toxic exposure. And, uh, you know, everybody heard, I'm sure, about the beauty sleep. So um, beauty sleep uh, for me is uh, sleeping uh, in the environment that is uh, really nurturing you. So what do I mean by that? Um, no screens in the bedroom, um, preferably no energy saving LED lights, fluorescent lights and uh, stuff like that. Um, you know, it's better to create um, their going to a sleep environment with their, if there are old incandescent uh, lamps or special like good night um, lights and stuff like that. Um, also, it's nice to, you know, turn off uh, Wi-Fi's and um, try to create um, all the um, little things that you can for um, kind of winding down, right? So uh, not watching something very disturbing like news, um, you know, trying to create a ritual for yourself that makes sense. And uh, the same goes for the distressing part. So um, distress is uh, extremely important for beauty because um, stress always shows up uh, on uh, our appearance and our energy and our skin. And uh, there are a lot of different stresses. Uh, some of them are chemical, some of them are emotional. Um, some of them are, you know, come from uh, biological, physical and uh, other realms. So just, uh, again, you know, scan your life and uh, see how you can help yourself there. But uh, on the bottom, I put uh, self-love as a life hack. Uh, honestly, uh, I think that's the foundation for anything uh, we do for our health and beauty. And um, if you really pay attention to this little seed and uh, nurture it and uh, help it grow, um, then it's um, so much easier to notice uh, what you need for your health and beauty because um, that creates uh, the mindset that is uh, necessary for everything else you do, for your food, for your supplements, for your products, uh, for self-care about the sleep and distress. So for me, that's the number one life hack is um, to kind of check with yourself. Uh, am I doing what uh, I love doing? Um, out of what energy um, I am moving forward you know, in my day? So there are a lot, a lot of different ideas on um, how to remove uh, toxins that sabotage our beauty. And uh, I call it a detox inside and out because um, you can uh, use a lot of things um, you know, um, that can uh, detoxify your skin and, uh, and also can have a lot of substances that um, go through you. That is kind of a physical uh, aspect of it, the, the physical detox. And uh, so like, for example, um, charcoal is um, something that um, can be used both on uh, the skin and uh, also um, their spoonful of charcoal in the morning, you know, can absorb a lot of um, toxins and um, 
you know, you will start your day uh, on a fresh note. Um, something similar you can do with uh, the edible clay, you know, that is, um, you know, checked for bacterial and contamination and uh, ventilated and stuff like that. Um, clay will give us uh, some minerals like silica that is very, very important for our beauty and many others and also will absorb uh, a lot of things that, um, you know, hurt us and our beauty. Uh, also, um, in this category, detox inside out, um, I would put anything that supports our organs of detoxification, right? So. Uh, our liver and kidneys um, uh, can be supported in a lot of different ways. Um, I suggest to take uh, milk thistle either as an extract or um, use the seeds you know, for this purpose. Um, also, you know, on the outside, um, you can use the uh, same uh, clay or charcoal. You can use... Um, um, some uh, natural cleansers, you know, like a, a slice of uh, cucumber or um, I grow aloe vera and I don't know if it's visible. I, I put uh, my one of my aloe vera plants there. So, you know, um, just uh, f fillet the leaf and, um, you know, use it as a um, facial cleanser and uh, as an after sun or moisturizing uh, agent. So there are, you know, a lot of different um, benefits from using aloe and not, not just for the detoxification. Okay, so um, that is uh, kind of a, the detox in general, but for uh, any kind of detoxification that is um, connected to our body, extremely important to have high quality water. That's why I put hydration inside and out uh, on their, uh, this list of uh, my favorite um, beauty detox ideas. So uh, hydration is achieved uh, by drinking water that has minerals. So uh, distilled water or heavily filtered water is clean, but uh, because it's deprived of minerals, um, it's very aggressive, very acidic. So um, if you have access only to filter the water, I would um, restore the structure with uh, a little bit of salt. Or, you know, if you're buying water, just uh, don't buy drinking water, you know, buy their cold spring water instead. It's much more hydrating. So you can drink less and um, stay better hydrated. Uh, another trick, you know, other than, um, you know, spring water or salt and filter is uh, something live in the water, like, you know, lemon or some kombucha or, uh, you know, a slice of uh, some live uh, fruit and vegetable, even uh, a blade of grass can, can work. Um, another um, hydration hack is uh, to eat your water. What does it mean? It's just to eat uh, fresh uh, food that is, um, you know, rich in water. So all the fresh greens, uh, vegetables and fruit. Uh, chia seed or any other seeds that uh, become uh, slippery when, uh, um, you know, they touch water uh, is also a very interesting hack because um, everything that becomes kind of bigger um, inside your digestive tract uh, works as a sponge and um, you can um, keep um, your water longer. So, um, again, you can uh, glass, but um, stay well hydrated. Extremely important for detoxification and for hydration is movement. And I'm not talking about like, you know, going to the gym or running a marathon, even the micro movement. For example, right now talking to you, I'm sitting on uh, uh, a, a big ball instead of the chair. I fired my chair a long time ago from my office. And, um, you know, any kind of uh, um, twisting, like you can uh, imagine that somebody is uh, pulling you from behind, you know. Um, so any kind of movement will create the pump effect and will help you with hydration. Also, when we talk about the outside, um, our skin uh, creates a barrier so that you don't evaporate too much, right? So it has some special oils and uh, you know some other substances. So every time we um, 
really get very clean with all our gels and soaps and shampoos and everything else. You know, we kind of uh, strip this uh, protection layer and um, uh, allow sometimes too much evaporation and sometimes, you know, something toxic can come in much easier. So, you know, be mindful about that. So uh, stagnation detox, um, that is um, what I call anything, again, that connected to movement. So it can be movement of food through your digestive tract, make sure that you don't have constipation. It can be, you know, just um, even, uh, you know, massaging your um, uh, hands and feet, you know, that, that is uh, also, you know, um, something that um, is uh, great for, uh, detox of the stagnation. Um, jumping around, uh, just dancing will help uh, the blood circulation, lymph circulation that is uh, really vital for our um, uh, detoxification in general. And don't forget that um, there are a lot of uh, other types of toxins like the emotional detox uh, is extremely important uh, if you're caring from long time something uh, around that becomes uh, heavy for you. So there are a lot of different ways to do that. You know, we're not going to uh, spend too much time, just, you know, be aware of that, that it also uh, affects your beauty. Digital detox is something that is very relevant in uh, our modern lives. So um, to practice digital detox, I usually recommend going through um, the one hour before, one hour after sleep. Um, sorry. Just realized that, you know, my computer was not running on electricity. The battery was down. Okay, so I'm back and uh, let's look at um, a few superfoods that um, uh, I suggest to use, like for example, um, raw honey and uh, any other uh, bee products are really, really rich in um, a lot of nutrients that uh, we need for our beauty. Um, there are, um, of course, a lot, a lot of um, foods that uh, can become their beauty superheroes. Uh, so uh, these five uh, are just my favorite uh, of the day, but um, they, these um, foods can uh, change around. So uh, pretty much anything that is very, very colorful and um, uh, nutrient dense, that is my definition of superfood, nutri you know, nutritional density, uh, can be used uh, by our body to create um, the radiant beauty. So this uh, raw honey, tamarind, spirulina, avocado, cacao, which is uh, the champion uh, of the world uh, among all the superfoods and uh, nutritional density that has, you know, probably more minerals than uh, any other food that we eat. Uh, and uh, the, the goji berries that uh, I use in the trail mixes, by the way, you know, um, when you want to think about incorporating um, different uh, foods, just try to make it fun and, um, you know, be creative in the use. So there are, you know, a lot of uh, raw foods and uh, cooked foods that uh, can uh, in, you know, incorporate um, the both foods and herbs that we'll be talking about. For example, um, turmeric um, is uh, one of the amazing spices that um, it's uh, really a, a panacea, so it can help with uh, pretty much anything <laughs> and everything, including our beauty. So um, the, there are um, different ways to use this uh, superheroes, you know, the super herbs. Um, you can um, take them as supplements. You can uh, put them on your skin. You can uh, make teas out of them. Um, so, yeah, there are so, so many different ways to do that. So, um, let me see. So, for example, um, the ashwagandha can be used as um, their supplement and you just 
you know, take it uh, maybe after consultation with um, the um, Ayurvedic practitioner or, you know, when you read more about it and understand uh, the benefits and, um, you know, learn about all their uh, precautions. Uh, pretty much that goes for any supplement, anything that you add to your life. Uh, I always suggest to learn um, the benefits of um, that, you know, addition and um, also all the contraindications so that uh, if you are adding something new, um, you know all the pluses and minuses, right? So risks and benefits. Uh, ratio, uh, or ling shim mushrooms are uh, used in uh, uh, a lot of different ways. So some of them go into my um, adaptogenic uh, tonics, and um, uh, I sometimes even ferment them in the kombucha. So I make um, you know different uh, um, um, you know, drinks and uh, foods that uh, incorporate it. Um, Aloe vera, like uh, I already said, you know, I use a lot on my skin, but, you know, the, the same plant um, goes into my smoothie. So um, pretty much uh, when I fillet their aloe leaf, um, they're inside, you know, the, the fillet itself goes in the, my blender. And then the skins uh, I would use as uh, uh, aftershave or some uh, moisturizing, uh, cleansing product. Okay. So um, our beauty needs a lot of uh, ingredients and um, it's very complex, but we can also uh, make it super simple. So as long as you uh, eat real food and the variety of it, um, you can relax because your body already knows what to do uh, with all of it. So uh, unless it's uh, some, um, you know, modern inventions with uh, isolated and, you know, super processed stuff, um, we don't really need to know all the details and all the mechanisms behind. You know, it's enough to eat real food. So what a real food uh, gives us? It gives us uh, macronutrients that, um, uh, consist of carbohydrates, um, proteins, and fats. Uh, all of them have their own um, beauty role. So uh, they uh, become building blocks, you know, the, our bricks that um, we need to build the collagen um, that, you know, to make our skin look young. And, you know, it, pretty much um, all their uh, constituents of uh, their uh, beautiful skin, beautiful hair, beautiful nails, you know, uh, requires uh, all the nutrients. So I'm not a big fan of um, uh, diets that, um, you know, uh, try to avoid one of the three macronutrients. Um, I like the simplicity of the um, real food idea and, uh, you know, so I recommend uh, following some traditional um, diets. Like for example, the nourishing tradition that I just showed to you is uh, a book full of uh, uh, recipes uh, that um, combine all the macronutrients. But um, we also need uh, something smaller that are called um, micronutrients. So that's pretty much everything except the big three, right? There, except um, uh, carbohydrates, um, fats, and um, uh, proteins. So we need um, a lot of different uh, minerals and vitamins and cofactors, so all sorts of uh, enzymes. So um, they would all fall into this category. Um, out of all this um, complexity, um, I've chosen uh, five minerals to share with you and uh, some of the sources uh, where they come from. So for example, sulfur is extremely important for uh, our beauty. And uh, um, we can get it from food or we can supplement it. Uh, for example, MSM is a, a good source that is um, quite safe even in um, uh, bigger dosages. So again, um, this is something I suggest you read up if uh, it's uh, something new for you or if it's the old friend, that's a reminder. 
So uh, another uh, super, super important mineral is uh, silica. Um, our skin uh, and the skin of uh, plants, uh, um, probably one of the richest areas of silica. And um, it's extremely important for the nervous system as well, for our brain and you know, for all the communication between uh, the brain and the rest of the body. So um, because um, it accumulates in the skin, um, the more vegetables and um, you know, fruit that you can eat with the skin on, hopefully you know, not, not covered with uh, chemicals and you know, paraffins and stuff like that, but you know, the uh, local organic or maybe homegrown, um, so the more silica you get. Uh, you can get uh, a huge boost of this mineral if you take a course of uh, edible clay. So just uh, a teaspoonful of clay in there, maybe half a glass of water and um, drink this uh, mixture in the morning, alternating with um, uh, charcoal. If you were doing the charcoal cleanses, uh, that's a great way to detox and also uh, replenish your silica storage and you know help um, restore your uh, nervous system not just the skin and nails so next one is magnesium that probably uh, most of us are deficient in and uh, you can supplement with it or you can try to find um, a food that has grown in uh, really rich uh, soils that are not depleted in this particular mineral. Yeah, just harder and harder to find. Okay, so iron and zinc are also very, very important. And um, um, just try to get them from natural sources because um, uh, iron, especially if it's uh, in excess, it, it's kind of like a, a double-edged sword that uh, can hurt us even more than iron deficiency, so be careful with that. Okay, and now let's talk about um, some um, um, beauty swamps. You know, so, uh, how, how can we swap something that um, was hurting our beauty uh, and uh, use something that is going to help us to manifest uh, our elegance and shine. Um, so f I, I'll give you a few examples, but uh, I'm sure that um, you know you will continue the list. Um, I just you know need maybe some inspiration. So this is like uh, the seed, for, the inspiration seed for all other swaps. But when you look around your house, when you look at your cosmetic bag, uh, just you know, give it a kind of a critical eye uh, to see if uh, you can uh, do something that is less toxic. Okay, so for example, their makeup remover uh, uh, can be substituted with the coconut oil very easily that, um, uh, you know, removes uh, a lot of, um, uh, you know, different uh, kind of textures and substances. If you are using, um, uh, petrochemical stuff that uh, smells nice and um, you know create this uh, neurotoxicity and liver toxicity and um, you know predisposition to allergies and asthmas and everything else. Uh, consider using something more natural. Uh, there are more and more you know natural perfumes available, and um, you can just use. Uh, uh, your favorite essential oils or, you know, combination of them. Um, in uh, Russia, instead of hairspray, historically people were using the flaxseed tea. And um, the more seeds uh, you put in the water, the stronger the fixation. So you can uh, go from, uh, you know, something very mild to strong, just, um, you know, um, by varying the amount of uh, seeds you put in the water. And of course, you know, you, then you need to sieve them through because you don't want the seeds in, in the hair, just um, the, the water itself. So that can be used for hair styling. And um, um, when it comes to their hair beauty, 
uh, it's nice not to create the static electricity and uh, you know also the plastic pollution and you know a lot of uh, unpleasant things for us and the environment using all sorts of uh, you know petroleum based uh, combs and brushes so uh, you can create a, a beauty ritual um, um, using uh, some more natural uh, combs and uh, brushes uh, for their um, female hygiene, um, we're using a lot, a lot of very, very toxic um, stuff that uh, pollutes our body and pollutes uh, the environment. So I strongly suggest using something more natural, um, like, you know, for example, the menstrual cups. You know, maybe uh, you don't see their connection between uh, uh, this particular item and uh, the beauty, but um, believe me, you know, um, all these toxins that uh, we absorb um, really make a difference in uh, how we feel and how we look eventually. Okay, and uh, now um, the easiest. Um, um, beauty tip that um, I know is just um, probably as easy as uh, you know putting um, uh, the aloe vera leaf and you know on your face and moving around is the honey mask. So if you um, would like to cleanse and nourish yourself, that is uh, one of their easiest things to do. So you just uh, take the highest quality honey you can find, uh, preferably from a reputable supplier that you, you know that it's not a syrup, but real honey with the live enzymes that you know it wasn't heated, it, it wasn't uh, filtered to death. And uh, uh, just, you know, apply it to your skin and, uh, you know, walk around a little bit, uh, licking your lips and uh, enjoying the sensation. And um, for those who have uh, inflammation of the skin or, um, you know, maybe, uh, you know, something that um, needs uh, healing, um, lavender oil can provide um, the extra boost, uh, both for anti-inflammatory properties and uh, for the uh, healing properties because uh, lavender helps regeneration of our um, outer skin layer. So it's, it's really, really nice to, uh, you know, add uh, something that simple that uh, works wonders. And uh, um, please be aware that, um, you know, essential oils can be too irritating. So you know, test on small areas of your skin to see how you react to them. And also you can always um, dilute it in some carrier oil, like for example, coconut oil. So that is probably the easiest thing in the world. Uh, if you want to complicate your life, you can make a, um, a two ingredient uh, uh, mask and um, smash some avocados and mix it with the honey and uh, pretty much do the same thing. Just you know, walk around with uh, the food on your skin and um, allow your skin to eat as uh, high quality stuff as you put in your mouth. So um, I want to kind of um, the round things up with um, a few um, what I call vitality tips that um, work for again, both uh, beauty and uh, health in general. So try to um, touch the ground at least once a day. If you cannot uh, um, walk barefoot, at least uh, touch the ground that um, grows from the real earth, you know, from the ground, uh, because uh, live plants also have this beautiful energy that help you detoxify and, um, you know, create their uh, by energy flow. Um, also, you know, again, the reminder of my favorite uh, life hack is uh, eating real food. They call it rainbow diet because um, rainbow uh, for me is the full spectrum. So the full spectrum of um, all the tastes, all the colors, all the flavors um, to create this vibrant, rich health that will show um, 
in your eyes, will show in your skin, will show in your posture and uh, again, uh, support you all over. And uh, please don't forget to move. Um, it, it doesn't have to be something um, very strenuous, but it has to be frequent. Uh, we probably heard about this uh, saying that um, nowadays sitting is uh, new smoking. So every 15 minutes, just you know, hop around or move a little bit, even if you're uh, working hard and concentrating on something, or you know, just sitting because uh, there is nothing else to do. So um, thank you very much. Uh, I will um, uh, finish their main presentation, but I also want to uh, share a few resources with you. So. Um, now our main presentation is over, but I want to suggest uh, further reading for those who are very curious on the subject and who want to really make their beauty manifest to the fullest. So here are a few of my um, favorite books um, on this um, subject. So the first is The, the Beauty Diet. Um, that uh, has a lot, a lot of um, simple recipes and ideas, and uh, you can you know, really benefit from reading it. Um, the Low Talks is um, another book that uh, I love a lot. So um, I joke that now I don't have to write a book like this because somebody else wrote it, and I'll shoot Alex's. Um, um, you know, she comes from uh, a beauty industry and uh, she was shocked to discover uh, all their, you know, problems with health that her colleagues were having at a much higher rate than, um, let's say, average woman. And, uh, you know, she started to explore that, to understand why, you know, the beauty industry is um, pretty much killing us and came up with a lot of beautiful, elegant, simple solutions. So I highly recommend that book as well. Actually, maybe I'll just go book by book because I have um, the pictures of them here. Okay. So um, another book that um, I like both in print and as a audible version uh, is called um, Not Just a Pretty Face. And uh, it's very sobering story of um, um, what is uh, going into the products and um, you know, what happens if we don't read the, the small print, uh, what we actually pay for, like what kind of world we create, what kind of um, bodies and uh, skins we create for ourselves and our children. Uh, another book that uh, I really, really enjoyed um, reading is called um, Goddesses Never Age. Um, I really love that because it addresses um, a lot of um, uh, beauty aspects. Yeah, so it's um, not very, you know, just you know, one dimensional book. So um, I recommend it not only for uh, ladies who um, already think about aging gracefully. I think this book can help also um, the younger uh, girls as well, you know, to, to kind of um, realize how beautiful they are. And uh, another book that has uh, um, a big chapter uh, about beauty is called Boundless uh, by uh, Ben Greenfield. A lot of people in their kind of uh, health uh, sphere know him um, um, because of his uh, uh, fitness fanatic and um, you know biohacker and um, you know he creates a lot of uh, very interesting uh, podcasts and uh, interviews. So th this book um, is a great, great resource. And again, uh, it's available in uh, audio, audible version as well, uh, and um, you know it comes with uh, many many like PDFs and uh, a lot of resources that uh, you can go into. Uh, Healing with Whole Foods is um, the great book uh, in general, so it's one of my 
um, first um, go to books to do with anything with health and happiness and uh, also beauty. Uh, Nourishing Vision by uh, Sally Fallon is um, for those who uh, are confused um, what to um, choose, what to eat, you know, how to supplement their health. Um, and, uh, you know, there are a lot of beautiful theories out there. And uh, I hope that, uh, you know, many of them will be proven over time, over generations, right? But until then, it's nice to see something that was proven already. So multi-generational success in creating their beautiful symmetry, uh, beautiful bodies. Um, it's, um, you know, something that is uh, already out there and we can just benefit from the rest of this. Um, for those who um, want more um, probiotics uh, in your life, um, I highly, highly recommend The Art of Fermentation by uh, Sander Katz. Um, so that is something that for me is uh, one of their uh, key books for anybody who wants uh, stable health and uh, beauty. And uh, for those who want to understand why I recommended grounding for beauty, you know, there is this uh, book, Earthing, so um, that is uh, also uh, the great resource for uh, kind of discharging what you don't need and, uh, you know, creating the beauty flow and nourishing yourself uh, from the earth. Okay, I think that is it. Um, so, so, Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Well, thank you to everyone for joining. Um, if you enjoyed this, then uh, Oga is also doing another talk with us on September 30th called Super Brain. Um, you can make sure to get your tickets on the Eventbrite page, and you can find us on Facebook as well. Um, so thank you so much, Oga. All right. Take care.